Okay, so Jordan, it's almost time for our flight for this press trip. Uh, how's the packing going? I mean, I have to tear this whole rig apart before I can even start to pack for real. Like, were you actually thinking about taking all this stuff? I mean, I can bring the rig, but if I bring that, then I gotta bring the battery, I gotta have this giant charger, like it's completely yeah, impractical. I'm not checking a bag. I would rather pull out my fingernails. Okay, so Jordan, just like, what's the issue here? And the biggest thing is just these big, stupid batteries. I mean, they're ugly. You beat the hell out of them. They look terrible. Yeah, I mean, they, they're not aesthetically pleasing. They never have been. But then as soon as you're going through security, it's always like, oh, what's that there? That looks like some giant commercial thing. So no, I'm just never gonna travel with these big V-mount things. I need the huge charger. It just makes no sense. So I'll bring a whole bunch of normal lithium batteries for the camera. Okay, I've got something better just arrived. Hey, Jordan, check this out. This is the brand new small rig VB90 Pro Mini V-mount battery. I mean, first off, look how much more compact it is than what you have. And it's got this beautiful TFT color display. And look at your old stinky battery. It's ugly, it's hideous. I have to be seen with you on these press trips, and this is straight up embarrassing. Look how gorgeous this is. It's beautiful to look at, easy to carry around. And when we have it out in the field, this has got this beautiful rugged exterior that'll prevent damage. This screen is a polycarbonate acrylic mix, so we're not gonna get all these gouges and nasty scratches all over it. Check that out. I mean, that's, yeah, that's gonna be great when we get back, but I still don't have room to pack like a charger for V-mount batteries. I'm not gonna go through the airport, I'm not sure. You don't need to do any of that. Jordan, you never need to use a V-mount charger like that again. Look at this, see, USB-C in and out. You've got a USB-C input. This is gonna change everything for you. Okay, I mean, that's that's pretty cool, but like charging over USB for a V-mount battery, it's gonna take days to juice this <gasps> thing up. What, with like my no, phone it's charger not. Yeah, yeah, you could use your phone charger, but you can also use your laptop charger. That'll charge it quicker. And this is patented battery technology, so that it will actually accept PD 3.0 charging devices. Okay, okay, so give me an example. Well, well, I will let you borrow my 100 watt output PD rated travel charger. This You've will never take, let me use that. I will let you okay. this time. It will take 100 watts of power into this battery, charge it from zero to full in two and a half hours. That's crazy. Yeah, you can't complain about that. Well, maybe you could. Chris, behind this little flippy floppy top here, we got two USB-C outs. We've got two DCs, 12 volt, eight volt, like an old timey USB-A. Do we still, yeah, we got D-tap and I can still run all my V-mount stuff. Yeah, and Jordan, these are high capacity, powerful batteries. I mean, each battery is 3,500 milliamp hours. Very important though, the maximum capacity is 99.16 watt hours, which is right below the limit for international air travel. So we can take these on any press trip that we want to. You get a high rate of charge and discharge, excellent cycle performance, powerful output. I love the fact that you've got independent power supply as well as charging. So I could be charging the battery while outputting to a device through one of the ports. And one one of those USB-C ports can put out a maximum of 100 watts of power. So for like a real world example, remember when we're flying on the airplane, the electronic plug doesn't work below your oh, chair. My yeah. darkest hour. Absolutely. Well, this will put up to 100 watts of output through one of the USB-C ports maximum. You could plug your MacBook in there and you could power it for hours over that flight. So if I plug my phone in. Yeah. Then does I just get a percent? Oh, no, look at this. Okay, so we get, that's cool. Okay, so we get our battery percentage, what's being used, but then it also just tells you how long it's gonna run. Exactly, so you can sort of plan how you need to do it. And you can see it's showing around nine hours. And I can plug other things into it here. I've got your laptop right, right here. here. Why would you have that? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, plug this input in. And look at this, the battery is gonna very quickly update, not only that the got the extra oh, yeah, draw. both of these are running. The extra draw, but look at the time remaining. Okay, cool. So if we could charge both for two hours. Well, this is running. It's Absolutely. not even closed. That's yeah, both your phone and the laptop. I could survive almost any North American flight. Pretty much. Okay, so everything we talked about, you can do with a USB-C charger online, yeah. okay? So let's unplug this. Let's show you something else here, okay? So let's we talk more about a practical situation, all right? You're a creator. You want to maybe have a light on you. You want to use your rig. You want to use that. Let's show the other ports. So first off, why don't you plug it into the V-mount so adapter? It's just like a normal V-mount. Okay, so now plug in your P-tap for your monitor recorder. Okay. And then we always have like these LED lights that are hanging around, you know, they run off USB-A, but even though this is an older port, it does support it. So go ahead and pop that in there. Well, that yeah. doesn't impact 
time remaining at all. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We got light running, your monitor's running, and the camera's running all off of one battery. Without even using USB-C. Yeah. So Jordan, I think you can see how insanely versatile these little batteries are and how they go well beyond just our old classic V-mount batteries. You know, we can charge multiple devices, we can power multiple devices all at the same time, but they're still classic V-mount batteries as well. So we can throw them on a high-powered LED, run that LED, it'll tell you how long you can actually run it for. That's fantastic. And then if you've got peripherals that you still need to charge, maybe a USB-C battery charger or some microphones that you need to charge up, you could just plug USB-C while it's powering your light and do all that at the same time. Okay, so you've gotta be paying like exponentially more for all these extra features, right? No, no, not at all. Like these are under $300. It'd be very easy to get a pair and then you've got that safety blanket and you can run pretty much any high powered LED light on the market. I could see it being like a really nice safety net because I've never forgotten or lost a cable before. But theoretically, if I did and I didn't have like the V-mount adapter or like a D-tap cable or something like that, pretty much every modern piece of equipment we use, I could just run it off USB-C right off this battery, not have to worry about packing all those other adapters. So I know that battery technology might not be like the sexiest thing, not like the latest. Know, it's pretty sexy. <laughs> not like the latest lens or latest camera, but what I love about this is what it's gonna do for us on this trip and when we're traveling. I mean, we don't need to take all these extra power banks. We don't have to take huge chargers. You can leave that at home. We just need some cables. We have the simplicity, the security, and the safety blanket when we're using these. I just, I would never bring a rig before this because of the battery issues. So now, instead of like tearing this down, I'm gonna pack it up. Isn't that the best part? You don't have to break it down anymore. All right, we got a plume to catch. All right. 